In 2016, I was a freshly hired test pilot at uh, the Mooney R&D facility in Chino, California. I was excited to be getting access to an airport I've never really spent much time at before, the Chino Airport, and I was doing what we all do, poking around in the back hangars to see uh, what was there that was cool. I uh, happened around a corner uh, at uh, Threshold uh, Aviation there on the south side of the Chino Airport, been around a corner and happened to come across uh, this airplane. Did some Googling and found that uh, not only was it just as rad as it looked walking through the hangar doors, but it was for sale uh, and that uh, you know, had maybe a little bit of a questionable pass. So I reached out to the owner, uh, to the uh, broker who was working on selling the airplane and just let him know that I was excited to help however I could. I got lucky and uh, the new owner, when he purchased the airplane, uh, reached out and asked for me uh, to help him get the airplane ready to ferry it from Chino on down the line onto the owner's place. It turned out that the uh, airplane had never uh, really finished its phase one program. And so that meant that there was an opportunity to do a fair amount of flying and some real test work on the airplane in the event that I was willing to do all the rest of the work that was required. So uh, by the time we were done, and if you've watched the previous videos, you know, uh, we spent a lot of time with the hydraulic system. Yeah. <laughs> uh, after hours, uh, you know, at Mooney, you know, work ended at 5.30 or whatever it was. And then, uh, you know, I had an Airbnb I was crashing at. So I had a few hours there every night and I was more than happy to learn about Thunder Mustangs during that time. I spent a lot of time on the brakes. I uh, spent a lot of time on the engine. Hey Jim, what are you doing? Washing an airplane. Ended up being a lot of uh, uh, late hand labor, a lot of working on the airplane labor for the amount of testing that I got to do, but it was a fantastic experience. Uh, I ended up delivering the airplane to Denver uh, where uh, the other test pilot, Lance's other test pilot took over and the airplane you know, disappeared into the woodwork and I didn't hear anything about it since then. Well, here we are in Denver, Colorado. This is the final stop for today's trip. On to the next one. Airplanes are cool. In the time that it was gone, uh, the airplane uh, passed through a couple different maintenance shops. It got a new instrument panel. The, the engine was overhauled and eventually it ended up in DeLand, Florida uh, at the home of, uh, of Walter Engines. <laughs> 